my hair I got extensions if you guys saw the last vlog mainly for like fullness I went to a salon in Dallas that wasn't with my sister and I remember other people after saying like they had so much hair falling out and I have naturally really thick hair and my sister felt it and was like, oh my god, where did your hair go? And it freaked me out. And she is specialized in the color and extension. So she gave me like one like weft, like a one layer, not many extensions basically. Like normally people get more, I think she said. So anyways, and I also like can't go on my hair growth stuff that will like just get my hair back to normal. My really naturally full hair that I have um, because I'm getting laser. And you're not supposed to like obviously take like even collagen and things like that so that's what's happening but anyways today's monday as you guys saw i went to pilates this morning i started off why am i singing um i don't know i started off in a really great foot um i came home i showered i'm still singing what's going on also by the way if you're new here subscribe um and i recorded a bunch of stuff and i'm actually gonna go walk the trail with jess we, I've been doing this a lot recently. We don't really have like a meeting to take today. We actually should be, we're not receiving the samples for the Okine. The final ones, hopefully, um, our manufacturer will like be done with them and then they'll be overnight and hopefully we'll have them at Wednesday or Thursday. Anyways, but obviously we're business partners. So like we are always talking and we're also like best friends, but we, I like taking things like on the trail, on Katie trail. Um, I just like getting my stuff in, you know, what can I say? But anyways, today, is exciting because my furniture actually is coming in this week I have a new couch coming I have a new entry table that I'm not sure if it's gonna work but hopefully it will and a new light for this ugly light that I hate more than anything in the entire world so I'm very excited I actually did get this like match thing that was so cute from CB2 um, unfortunately I shattered it so I need to go to CB2 I'm gonna look for just like random home decor stuff I'm also gonna look at coffee tables um, and just like pick up a few things some of this is all of it's gonna be like moving I'll show you guys that later We also have some like new u-line boxes for my garage downstairs to organize so This vlog is a lot of just like home decor shopping um, Hopefully I'll be trying a new gym in Dallas tomorrow the John Reed one that everyone's trying and then in the next vlog You guys will see the furniture reveal so subscribe if you haven't already um, Also, just wanted to let you guys know I've been using this bread winning housewife coffee tumbler as my water bottle every single day since I got it. I have like three or four of them. Get one because it keeps your water cold forever and I drink so much water and I literally have it with me every single place that I go. It's so good. Anyways, we're gonna go to the trail. I'm gonna be there soon. I really love living in Dallas. Like it's just so great. My TikTok content recently with Dallas has been kind of popping off videos just for myself. Oh, I'm also gonna make new recipes. I have a new recipe that I'm gonna make tonight. I love Mondays because they're mainly spent by myself um, and I really just like spending time alone, you know? After a weekend, you really need that. But I finished, guys, okay, hold on one second. I have to be honest because I'm going through a really hard time. I finished Friday Night Lights. I stayed home on Saturday night. Like, if you know me, I am out on the town sometimes Thursday through Saturday. And like, I am, I never, ever, ever miss going out on a Friday or Saturday, ever. Like, both nights, every single weekend. I was so emotionally, like, distraught after finishing the show and so sad that I stayed home and I made mac and cheese and I went to bed. I went to bed because I was having such a hard time with Friday Night Lights ending, but I will say I started listening to this podcast because you guys told me on TikTok that there's a podcast and it's Billy and Mendy from the show, it's Clear Eyes, Full Hearts, and they had an episode with Tim Briggins on, which then just made me even more sad that it was over, but like listening to Tim Briggins, I just am obsessed with that man. Like if anyone knows a Tim Riggins in real life like set me up please because that's now what I'm looking for um, And also I'm gonna just like be a hometown hero today and I'm gonna look through my photos of Like growing up in Texas high school football because obviously it's a huge part of like growing up in Texas one of the best things ever It's so much fun You just don't understand until you're a part of it and then also if you watch Friday Night Lights Then you'll like get a glimpse into it, but I didn't grow I grew up in like a suburb It wasn't like super small town but it was still a really big thing, so I will be making a TikTok and showing you guys my Friday Night Lights experience. Um, I've been talking for a long time. Uh, I went from like not being able to vlog at all the past few weeks to not being able to shut up. So I am back. Um, new episode when Natasha Bure is out. I absolutely adore her. Such a good episode. It will be linked below. Also, I want to record more solo podcast episodes. You guys have to let me know what you want because like 
what do I talk about? I don't even know. It's really hard for me to think about like what to even say on the internet at this point because I've been online for so long. Last thing, it almost seems like I'm like on Adderall or something. I'm not. I've never even taken Adderall before, but like this is why I don't need it, okay? Um, I have this little vest from Aritzia. I have my Skims top. I have some Aritzia sweats and my Nikes that I just got. And I'm gonna get coffee. But she's probably like, please don't get coffee. Well, I'm gonna get some. So, anyways, here's my water bottle. Linked below. Check it out, everyone. There's so much Brad Wedding Housewife merch out. Link below. You wanna get it, I promise. Okay, we're off. Alright guys, we're going into CB2. We're at Knox Henderson. I just walked the trail as you all saw. But I'm telling you, this is the best CB2 there has ever been. It's beautiful. This is the couch that I bought, like this exact one. I'm gonna get the brown pillows. I'm also gonna get this thing, which I love. I do like these side tables too. If I, I don't know, it's like pretty small, but I do like it. Right, I do like these for my kitchen table. At least maybe just two on the ends and something else on the sides. But they don't have my bar stool out anymore. But they have the matching kitchen chairs now that I'm noticing. Is that like, I feel like that's too matchy. Um, but that's my bar stool, it's just as kitchen chairs. This is my favorite area of CB2. It's just so beautiful. They have lots of chargers, glassware. I mean, so cute, decanters. Literally in the bathroom, so a little bit weird, but I like horse like art in general. I actually had some in my house in LA. I don't really have much room unless I decide to do gallery wall with horse and not my photos with my friends. I think the hallway upstairs I have been considering getting like one big piece. I'm actually obsessed with Matt McCormick. Like if I get anything, it'll probably be him, but this just reminded me. I mean if you guys saw Matt McCormick stuff, like I will show you guys, it is crazy. I do need a new bath mat. I hate my bathroom, but I feel like this is a good one because it's dark and I self-tan. All right, I got three things. Um, I actually found, okay, listen, like I am over like the pompous stuff. Like I just feel like that's like old and done. However, they had chocolate brown ones, which made me love it. And it was big and it's a lot of texture, which I need like added texture in my house. And I just thought it was so cute. Oh. I would have bought it today, but the box is like way too long. So I'm gonna see if someone else can do that for me this week. And then I also need to find a vase that's like that height, which I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I didn't even measure that. Why didn't I think about that? I don't know. Um, but anyways, I really liked it. And I don't know if it would fit when I get the couch, but if it would, I don't know. I feel like if I put it right there next to the TV, it would be fine and it would be cozy. So I do really like it. I sent it to my mother um, and she basically said that I probably won't have space, but like maybe I would, you know? All right, I'm home. I ordered lunch. I got a nice little poke bowl. Also my nails right now. What did I get just now on my finger? Lots of questions. Doesn't this just look so beautiful? I have some quick, exciting updates. Also, here's my hair when it just air dries with the extensions. In case anyone cared. I'm so hungry. Like I literally feel like I'm gonna paint, paint, faint. That's what I meant. Um, but I will say, we are gonna be hosting, if you live in Dallas, you need to join the Geneva chat anywhere. If you live anywhere, obviously. Can you tell I'm hungry? Everyone needs to join our Geneva chat. We have different rooms for different cities. If you need your city added, let me know, we'll add it. Um, we also have book club in there. We have like just general chat. There's like that, I think there's like 4,000 of you guys in it right now. Um, it's just the best place to be. But if you live in Dallas especially, we're gonna be doing some like events for the Okine, which is the clothing brand I'm launching, hopefully come April. And we're gonna have little like pizza and wine parties for you guys. So if you guys wanna come, it's gonna, it'll be on like a Thursday night. If you guys wanna come though, let me know. Um, anyways, it'll be in the Geneva app. You guys need to join. Join the Dallas room, join the Okine room. We'll be talking in there. And we're, pro we're only gonna be able to have probably like 10 to 15 girls depending on the space and the size. It's gonna be a really good time. We're very, very excited. I'm excited because next week I'm shooting like a lot for Red Wedding Housewife. And then I'm going on a girls trip. And then the following week I get back and we have the Okine shoot, like the really long day 
the really long everything for the first like probably like, two months of Content, website, everything will be done that day. And we're just really, really excited for the Okai. No matter where you live, if you want, you guys can join our email list and our text list and you'll get updated and then you'll probably get like some sort of like pre-sale, like whatever. It'll all be on there. But anyways, I'm gonna eat my food, get back to work, and then we're gonna get back to like figuring some things out with the house. I, I definitely wanna get that stuff over there. So I think I'm gonna order it online because I can't fit it in my house anyways. All right, I've just been unboxing things all afternoon. My fridge recently, Go reorganize, you guys wanna see it? It's actually pretty beautiful. I think everyone's gonna be pretty impressed. And it's clean. Besides like, you know, this over here with, you know, we're doing the best we can. This is like realistic, all right? It doesn't look like groundbreaking, it, but it definitely looks a lot better than it did. All right, so that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna applaud, all right? I got some new poppy in the mail. They actually, there's so much kombucha on here, thank God. That is what happens when you organize your fridge. And then you can see all of your drinks in a very organized manner. Just been sitting being a working gal, but I did want to do this, okay. So I don't know if you guys listen to the Skinny Confidential. What podcast actually do you listen to? But they had a Texas oil man, or like an old Texas oil man, he's no longer an oil man. I feel like once an oil man, you're always an oil man though. I don't know, but obviously really caught my eye. I just want to say, like, I'm such a proud Texan, and I love Texas so much, but, like, the recent stuff going on in Texas of, like, the stuff that's been passed is so embarrassing. Like, it is actually humiliating. I love Texas because I love the people here. I love the community. I love the state. I love the actual, like, locations. I love the tradition of it. I love growing up here. I love being from here. I love the people. It's just, like, a different... It's really hard to like explain to people who are not from here. Also the camaraderie, like there's just something so fun about being somewhere that everyone loves being. I don't love the recent stuff that has happened under Greg Abbott. So anyways, um, it's just been like a little bit really embarrassing and way more importantly, heartbreaking. So that's my little uh, thing. I don't know what else we can do here. Just thinking about that today, but I definitely want to figure something out, but I just don't know what it is. Anyways, all that to say, this company, it's called, what is it? Um, Botanic Tonics, I think. It's the feel-free plant-based plant herbal supplement. So essentially, this is like a plant thing. The guy, I believe, went sober, and then he made this. I think you have half of it, and then you feel not drunk after, but it gives you this, I don't even know what it is, so we're gonna do it. I take half of this. I just wanna see what it feels like, you know? Ew, wait, I think I'm gonna have to shake it. I miss Friday Night Lights, guys. I like actually am crying about it today, so. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Wow. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It doesn't taste good. But that's not the point. Neither do like shots, so. Oh wow. Also, look at this. Adina's Jewels, how cute. They sent me, they surprised me and sent me this cute little necklace. I don't think you can even see it. I need to get my nails done, I know. But anyway, it's really cute. Thank you so much, Adina. Love this. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm kind of being dramatic. I This is coming from the girl who would like just take up a straight tequila shot, so I'm definitely being dramatic. But anyways, I keep you guys posted on how that, how that goes for me. I started going through my boxes, and I just like cannot get to these. I have these big boxes. The last thing I want to do is take care of that, so I'm just gonna keep procrastinating and just doing other things. But, by the way, here's part of me distra like being distracted. I don't think I've given you guys a full overview of what's going on. This couch, going. This chair, downstairs. Fireplace, downstairs. Um, the love sack, over there, until I decide what chair I want to replace it with. Coffee table is staying. A section, well, for the time being, not forever. Sectional is coming this way and this way. I don't ever use this balcony, and it's honestly just been a pain because I felt like I couldn't cover the door, but I don't use it, so we're just gonna act like it's not a door and just put the couch in front of that. So ideally, I would have the couch, like obviously right here, love sack will be there for the time being, coffee table, which I'll replace, and I'll replace the love sack. I want the pompous to go like right there. I think that would be cute and cozy, or even right there. Well, it actually might be kind of weird behind that. I don't know. So I think over there would be the best option. I'll let y'all know. Um, also, guys, we've got a lot of breadwinning housewife stuff. We've got a lot, a lot coming. All right, look at this. Breadwinning housewife. Cute, right? Summer drop, hopefully. I'll get, let you guys know, keep you guys posted. 
I'm back. Um, update. That was incredible. It just makes you very calm. It, like, takes the edge off almost. I don't know how to describe it. Like, you don't feel drunk, obviously. But it definitely helps, like, calm you down. And I ended up getting, like, really focused and I got some more work done. It's now 6.30. I'm about to make some soup. The recipe will be on my Instagram. Um, I'm listening to country music and I'm cooking. This is just truly the best day of my life. I am so excited for life right now guys march is going to be such a big month i have two trips we have shoots we have things we have so many great things we also are working on events and stuff if you guys don't follow me on instagram you need to be following me on instagram because that's where like everything is so go follow me i'm getting close to 100k which is really crazy so be sure to follow me there i'm gonna get to cooking recipe will be on my instagram enjoy this cute little calming montage okay We are now in my closet. I'm doing a little bit of a haul. Guys, I got a new Twin Flame set. It's a chocolate brown sweats. Support your friends, guys. Um, and then also, a matching crew. I mean, so cute. The quality, of course, 10 out of 10. Very excited to wear this. I'm definitely gonna wear this this week, so I'm not even gonna put it away because I will be wearing it. I have this cute little like jewelry sunglass holder thing. I got a bunch of new sunglasses delivered. Reality eyewear. These, cute. These will be actually really good for my vacation. These, I don't even know if these are like a good shape for my head. What do we think? I think I like them. These, just a different color. This is a little like bralette. Another bralette. Underwear. Razorback bra. And then another pair of underwear. They're very, very soft. That is it. I will see you guys in the morning. I'm going to wash my face, put on my skims pajamas, and read my book. Sounds incredible. Tomorrow is a big day because it's March 1st. Um, March is a very big month for me. Also, two books that I have been waiting for to come out are coming. Tessa Bailey's new book and then Josie Silver's new book. Josie Silver wrote One Day in December, which I loved, and she has a new book coming out. Everyone who got the advanced copy that I follow on Instagram said it was incredible, so I'm really excited. Lots of reading, and also I'm currently reading The Parents of Problem, which is our book club book. Book club details are on my Instagram highlight for... Good morning guys, I'm on a nice little walk. Um, I went to get matcha and they were out. It is the first day of March, which I'm really excited for. I'm so excited for this month. I'm back home from my walk and I'm somehow just now noticing this. Guys, that is so cute. Wow, guys, I'm really on it today. It's taking me forever to drink my coffee. It's 10 16, I've gotten so much stuff done. I woke up. 6.40, so much energy. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited. I was just getting so much work done. Coco was laying on the beanbag very in a weird way. And then I woke up, so much energy, getting so much done. I don't know what's going on here. Oh my gosh, I don't want to go work out, but I need to. I'm going to Pilates at 11.30. I'm getting dinner with McGuire tonight, but I think in between that I'm just, I mean, I know in between that I'm working. Um, just like making some dreams come true, you know? I just get more annoying by the second. I feel like such an adult. I really, truly do. Okay, off to Pilates. It is freezing in my house. I cannot wait to be in this 95 degree room. I'm back and I'm wearing the best fitting sweatsuit. I literally took a video to send it to Dear Media so we can do sweat sets like this and this exact like crop. Um, for Bro Bunny Housewives. Anyways, this is for Poppy. Thanks, Poppy. But like the actual cut of this hoodie, it's a little bit like, I don't wanna say crop, but like it's not long. It's more wide, so it hits more where like your sweats actually end. Finally came back to a Skims package. I need to get my nails done today because I realize it's really my only time to do it. But I do need to be episode prepping and it's actually the best time because I need to listen to podcasts anyways. So it's really the best time to go. I just like don't wanna go. 
Skims haul. I got the same dress that I wore in a recent vlog and in a photo shoot in black. I have this Skims dress, like just stra like not strapless, Sp it's spaghetti strap. Yeah, and it is like the most flattering dress ever. So then I got the long sleeve in camel, and then I loved it so much that I got the long sleeve in black. It is just your best like everyday basic black dress. Um, I'm not someone who like loves bodycon fits or anything like that, but this is so flattering Like I will for sure wear that this weekend because I just love it um, I also got another little like bralette thing. This is the it doesn't actually say the style I will link it because these are my favorite bralettes. I have one. I have a few others I just keep buying more every time I'm on skims because I live in them. I have this just really good long sleeve It's pretty thin too um, Again, so flattering love and then this t-shirt, like this material is unbelievable. What is it? It's nylon. Hmm. So soft and like thick and just great quality. Anyway, so I have this color for a nice little short sleeve. I mean, before you know it, my entire wardrobe is going to be the Okine, Skims, and Bread Bunny Housewife. Like, that's pretty much all I want to wear. And cowboy boots, so. I'm giving up my coffee today. I have been having weird reactions to certain cold brews but i can drink starbucks cold brew or iced coffee in general and it doesn't bother me so maybe i'll go get one before i get my nails done does anyone else just like hate getting their nails done also the soup that i made last night little update it's really good here we go just heated some up for lunch everyone needs this brooklinen weighted blanket you might be like ken's i forgot that light is still gonna exist that needs to be done with Oh my god, I will link this blanket by the way. It's like the best thing ever. I live for a weighted blanket for my fave. You might be like, Kenzie, I thought you had to go get your nails done today and do episode prep. Well, I decided I'm gonna have my nails done tomorrow. And I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna read the books that I need to read for the guests. And I feel like reading today. And that's the best part about this, you know, career that I've that I've like somehow not invented uh, created like for myself, not in the sense that I created the idea of the career, you know what I'm saying? Um, is that I actually have to read for my job, which is really incredible. I'm reading Mallory Irvin's book. She's coming on the show. I need to read Jason Tardick's book. What else? I've got some books to read, guys. I'm telling you. It's very, it's very exciting. It is. It is. I made myself some iced coffee because I haven't really had coffee today. I'm going to lay here. I'm going to get cozy. And then McGuire and I are going to a nice early dinner. Oh my gosh. There is just nothing better than today. Wow. It is unbelievable the great mood that I am in. And I just want to say, when I was like, oh, I'm in a funk, I feel so weird, whatever, blah, blah, it was PMDD. I started my period and now I feel fine. Isn't that messed up? It is. It really is. Um, I have this like incredibly massive candle, by the way. Like, that is the biggest candle I've ever seen in my life. Um, I copied my friend Presley. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from CBD. Anyways. Oh, I have the candle and it smells really good. It's a cowboy kush one. What else would I get, you know? All right, we're now going to Honor Bar. Surprise, surprise. I actually didn't go last weekend. Went to Mika Sina instead. Not much better. Literally the same. Anyways, um, you're not really supposed to wear sweats to Honor Bar. I changed into a nicer, like, more mature looking sweat set. And I'm hoping that they don't cause a scene. I don't know. I I'm not going to change. So, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm really hungry. But I don't want to ruin my dinner. We're going really early. Thank God McGuire is also an early dinner person. I would love to be at home by 7 p.m. every weeknight. Like, that is what I want. I want to be home. I want to be reading on my Kindle. Oh my God. This by Rita, like Mojave Ghost perfume, definitely lives up to the hype. Like, I know that everyone loves this. It just smells so good. This is the outfit for Honor Bar. Like, will they let me in? Honestly, who knows? But if they don't, I'm just gonna put on this like big brown coat and like they want me to know what I'm wearing, you know? All right guys, I made it to Highland Park Village. The lights are still up, which is a really good sign actually. I am actually here like pretty much every day. Today, yeah. Okay. So, hello. Introduce yourself. Oh God. Down the middle, y'all? Yes, yes, please. please. My name is McGuire. My face is still puffy from flying like two days ago. Um, of course I have this getting confidentialized roller. I need to learn more about the face shaving. Oh god no, if you weren't in it, don't worry. The gua sha or whatever? No, the... 
<laughs> McGuire is like way bolder than I am. I'm like, I'm not carrying this. <laughs> um, the shaver, the face shaver. Oh, I got it. I was a shaving cream. It's a dermaplane. Dermaplane. Yeah. Have you dermaplanes? Let's talk to the audience okay. about your dermaplane. So I brewed it once. I did it recently at the med spa here. Which med spa? Off me. Okay. okay. Never been. It's really good. That's where I get my hydrofacials and my Botox and my filler. Have you been to Skin Farm though? And I love Skin Farm. Skin Farm. It's so beautiful. Scatter my ashes there. It is the most beautiful. Place. I <laughs> went in and I was like, can I take some photos for like interior design? Um, <laughs> Talk Anyways, to us about your dermaplaning. No, really, we want to know. What's so interesting is I saw Lauren posted recently. Also posted same day in her Bremony house like hot, of course. I know, I saw that. I was like, oh my Love god, it's amazing. That. Yes. Um, uh, well, obviously Jeremy is, so they do myself. But she was saying how like guys have such good skin because they shave and that's why they look so much younger forever and so she made a female shaving cream i saw that so i need to order that too but anyways just should we do a video do not do it. Like, yeah, shaving, shaving ourselves <laughs> yeah. i would literally yeah. do it in two seconds that's what we're gonna be doing actually guys, like I have, subscribe I'm tell us if right you want to know I, if you want to watch us literally <laughs> shave our faces no i um I have never dermaplaned. I'm afraid. At all. Okay, I was afraid too, but it's so common because I always thought it was bad. Turns out it's not. It's I not tried. bad. It's not bad. Oh wait, I think it's shock. It's it's shock. I'm ordering the, <laughs> the shaving cream right now. Okay. Confident she will on. report back. Yeah, and we'll be shaving on camera soon. We will be shaving on camera soon. It's Tuesday, March 1st, you guys. March 1st, new month, new time for possibilities. We need to have this done. That's what I'm doing. This lighting for me is doing nothing for this space. Like, we need to have a uh, vision board party. <gasps> I have mine. Can I bring mine? Oh, one that I already made? Yeah, me too. But then we can remake one. Yeah. Because I want to add some things. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're logging off for now. Just came home to so many boxes. McGuire and I had a great time. We went to Bird Bakery after. We have plans tomorrow, so I'll see her again. I actually have like so many Dallas events coming up, which are gonna be fun. I asked her if slugging is worth it. I literally got this because of her. So we're gonna slug tonight. If you guys haven't seen it on TikTok, you actually have to be living under a rock because I feel like I'm always behind on trends and it's actually there. So my new pill organizer. This is just so exciting. Oh, I got a new hairbrush too. Oh, uh, came with hair clips. That's nice. I'm getting other sizes in the Bread Winning Housewife stuff. I got a double XL just to wear as like quite literally a dress. So cute. Um, I'm doing another shoot in it next week, which I'm so excited for. We just have to really... We've got to get this breadwinning housewife content. Update, I think we're getting the Okine sample tomorrow. The quarter zip and an XL because I want to wear it like over leggings or like even biker shorts. I feel like that would be really cute. So got to get that stuff together. Tomorrow the Uline boxes, we're doing running errands. Got to get my car wash, got to get my nails done, have random stuff around here. Couch has got to go. We've just got some, some adult things happening. Guys. I have a new face tool I'm going to try. So right now I'm using this face gem hyaluronic roller. So I have to roll out my face for five minutes and then apply my serums and then roll it out for another five, ten minutes. And you have like different, you use a different one each time. All right, I finished. Remember when I said, oh, it's kind of like pointy? Guys, why do I get white towels? Like whatever. So all of the like, pointy things have dissolved it said it was gonna do that so that means that i did it right i've been doing this for about five ten minutes but like my you know when you have this like you know when you have this like thing like i can see like the line does that make sense like i can see how much my face has gone down it's just been so puffy so now supposedly my hyaluronic acid is very 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 deep in my skin and I'm gonna put on my Summer Fridays Deep Oasis um, serum. With slugging, you're supposed to do just like your nighttime skincare routine and then put the aquaphor on top. I'm not gonna lie, like my skin is irritated. Oh wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. It's probably not a good idea to slug right now, but I need hydration. 
I need to make sure I'm drinking more water. I feel like I drink so much water, honestly, because I use my Bro Bunny Housewife tumbler as my water bottle, and it's, like, at my side at all times. But I left it in my car today, and then I just didn't grab the other ones that I have. Oh, my God, my skin does feel, like, very moisturized, but I just want to try it. And I'm not going to try it tomorrow because I'll probably, like, self-tan or something. It's so weird that you just, like, do this, though. Oh, wow. This actually feels good on my skin. So, like, what is this going to do to my pillows, you know? All right, night one of slugging. I'll let y'all know what I think. I'm also getting really excited for summer. I know I'm typically like, I love cold weather, whatever. No, I'm over it. I actually am really excited to be living in dresses and cowboy boots every single day. It's really beautiful in Dallas right now. It's in like the 70s, 80s. Like this weekend, I can probably wear a dress, which I'm like living for. I need like almost knee high cowboy boots. But with a really wide calf, I honestly just need to go get some custom made. It would be worth it for me, but I haven't done that. So if you guys have good recs, please let me know. Wrangler emailed me tonight. Like I am finally being recognized for the true cowgirl that I am. And I'm, I'm feeling really good about that. Anyways, I wouldn't really recommend this thing though. The face gem, I'll link it below. The hyaluronic roller. I love anything hyaluronic. So I'm shocked it took me so long to use it. Um, but it comes with four little packs that you put on the actual like roller itself and i really like it you're supposed to do it once a week i feel like it's something that i'm actually going to keep up with though i get all this like random skincare stuff obviously with my job and i'm constantly like donating it or giving it to friends this i kept because i knew i would use Guys, it is day three of just being in a great mood. I'm back in the sweats. Yes, I wore them yesterday for two hours and um, we're back in them today. This morning has been great. I've been loving getting my steps in in the morning. I went to get matcha, I got my car washed, got my nails done, eyebrows waxed, all that stuff. First shipment of actual like Okine, the Okine products came in today. So I was moving them to my garage. I've just been working around the house. It's about to be one. I'm gonna take a meeting on Zoom, but I did want to show you guys a little bit of a haul from Sephora. I got a restock on my favorite self tanner ever. I will have it linked below. It's the Ashley Graham Saint Tropez Ultimate Glow Kit. I said all that weird. It is the most hydrating, most beautiful, glowy, easy to use self tanner there is. There's nothing like it. I'm, that's probably like my 10th bottle of it. Like I'm just obsessed with it. Okay, I got this because I was told it would help with hair growth, and I freaked out. You guys saw the last vlog. I don't know if I said this, but actually, I definitely did. My sister does my hair, and she felt my hair and was like, oh, my God, what happened? Like, you've lost so much hair because I naturally have, like, very thick hair. Um, and I thought it was who I went to one time when I got my hair done, like, a while ago because other people who go to this salon in dallas have said the exact same thing and they're also like kind of rude and i still think it could have been that but then i remembered covid hair loss that's a symptom duh so anyways i'm getting laser hair removal right now so i can't take like my normal stuff like i'd love to take neutrophil which I'm, like, I'm still considering taking it like it's literally out there next to my vitamins like the hair loss has gone too far you know I did get this um because a friend that said it works so the ordinary glycolic acid and you just like pour it on your scalp and let it sit there i think so i'll let y'all know how that goes okay i did like the inky list hair treatment the another one i don't know i want to see how i like it after then i got a new beauty blender and then i got this new foundation because my favorite makeup artist in dallas kristen vera um keeps posting about it so i was like i need this foundation so anyways that's what i got today i need to get onto this zoom this is how i'm taking a meeting right now so have you ever seen anything cozier no the answer is no guys i have to be honest with you i ordered velvet taco for lunch and i don't regret it my velvet taco has arrived all of this is going today guys the end of an era i really wouldn't recommend this home threads couch by the way i liked it it just didn't hold up well like Here is the update on the house, everyone. Um, I need to move those coats. I have random returns and stuff that are being done, but the couch is gone. The chair and the fireplace are in my garage because I might use them for another place eventually. Got those like brown poof things that I loved at CB2, 
but the vase is discontinued so it's actually really hard to find a vase that tall I've just been working from home and getting stuff done around the house but I did see a cute like printed like pattern chair and I'm like that would be so fun to add because I still have to get a new rug, a new chair, and then eventually like a new coffee table. And that would just like add something. But would I get really tired of it very quick? Like probably. I also have gotten a lot more Uline boxes. So I've just been using them to organize and put things away. I'm going to put a bunch of vases in here. So that needs to be taken downstairs. But I actually have a Dallas event tonight. It is time for me to get ready. Also, this light, I hate you. This is the last vlog of me and my arch nemesis, Mr. Light over here. I hate it. Can you believe it's taken me almost two years to replace this? Like, comment below if you guys have been watching me that long and you watched me move. I know some of you guys actually watched me when I first lived in Texas. Like, the very OG, my channel has been around for like eight or nine years now, which is so crazy. I've really grown up with y'all. The dogs are getting picked up right now from the groomers and they're gonna be so happy to have so much space to play. Guys, I just got ready for Tonight, I use my Dyson Airwrap, which I use literally every day, and my new foundation, which I think I really like it. I got it in a lighter color. I obviously need a self-tan. I really want to get the Rare Beauty um, like liquid blush and highlighter and do that hack. I saw Margaret did it. She said it was popular on TikTok. But I'm wearing this outfit. I'm not really like a huge zebra person. I got it, the set, and I should have gotten the top a size smaller. All right, so this is my official outfit. I have my black cowboy boots. These are Harley Davidson. I got them on Depop. This set is Zara, which actually I like it. I've decided. If you don't, please don't share because I just decided I like it. So I just like don't even hear that. You know what I mean? This leather jacket is from Girlfriend. It's like a really, really nice leather jacket that Revolve sent me because they're very nice. Um, but I had a similar one from Misguided that I think my sister took that looks like literally identical. It has to be an exact knockoff. So this is my outfit, um, also the perfume that I've been using, of course, but I think that's going to be it for today's vlog in the morning my new furniture gets here, so that vlog will be up in a few days. Um, I'm going to like vlog on TikTok tonight, so if you guys want to see like Dallas Fox and stuff, it's always on my TikTok, which is Kenzie the Texan, but I love you guys so much, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, I think it was fun, like I'm just in a happier mood, you know, so let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Fitz is worn out from the groomer, so I think I just woke him up. He's so tired, sleepy Fitzy. Oh, sleepy Fitz. I was afraid that if I evolved in my brand, the people who followed me wouldn't be interested. That's a part of it. Like me being able to evolve and move on from that trauma and to be happy, that's a part of the story.